All right, guys, I wanted to do a video on why I don't use the PCI. And this is a big one because I think like 90% of people use some kind of PCI, especially the new dynamic PCI that they've built into the game this year, which I think is actually pretty nice. Um, but for me, I just can't wrap my head around why the PCI is necessary. Reason being, um, so you see the pitch is about to come in, right? If I had the PCI, and let me turn it on for you real quick. Um, so the PCI is on. And if I've got this PCI in, right, um, and the pitch is coming in, I only have a certain amount of time to react to it. And in that time, I have this big circle in front of me. And when it comes in, I just have to react, right? So maybe I can see where the ball is coming. If you're able to track it with the PCI, then maybe that's helpful. But in my opinion, that reduces your ability to be patient and be disciplined at the plate. And it actually messes up your timing a little bit as well. And I'm saying you, but this is me. Like, uh, I've tested this out before. And, you know, there's, there's only so much you can react to. There's only so much visual cues that can help you. And to me, I could have done that without the PCI, right? You saw me, like hit little dribblers a few times in a row. Now with my PCI off, um, I will I will say that I'll sacrifice a little bit of contact sometimes. But at the same time, I'm no longer distracted by that PCI. That PCI distracts me a ton. And I feel like it distracts people as well, it distracts other people as well. They just don't realize it because they haven't tried without the PCI. Now that pitch, Right, it was kind of down the middle, and I, you know, I got most of the ball on it. Um, but if I had the PCI with me, if I had the PCI on, I would have seen the same thing. I probably would have kept the PCI in the same place, same result. But I felt like my timing was a lot better because I was only focused on the ball and not focused on the visual cue of the PCI. So when I see this ball come in, I'm instead of trying to follow the ball right with my PCI, instead of trying to drag it across and track the ball with the PCI, instead I'm recognizing the pitch out of the hand. So I saw that was a curveball. The reason I didn't swing is because I saw it was a curveball out of the hand, and I wasn't trying to track it. Um, so right there, you know, I I recognize the pitch out of the hand, and I'm able to see where it goes. And obviously, it's not always the case, but um, for me, initially that being able to recognize a pitch is super helpful. See, now that one, this is kind of a, just a product of trying to be disciplined and wait for a, or for a pitch over the middle of the plate. Um, you see the ball coming in, and I saw that it was a slider. Let's say if I had that PCI, what I would have done is I would have started that PCI on the top, the high and outside corner, and then tracked the ball back towards the middle, right? And uh, that can work sometimes, but for me, I, I sometimes overcompensate, and when I when I see that ball come high and away and then track that slider in, um, the PCI kind of keeps dancing towards the, the inside part of the plate, and then I'll hit the ball on, off the end of the bat instead of just staying with it like that. Right, and so the other thing is, if you're, if you're not a person that tracks the ball, I would highly recommend this for you, because uh, this is, Instead of trying to track the ball from out of the hand with the PCI across to wherever the ball lands, you're kind of starting in the middle and just reacting to a certain spot in the in the zone. So that's kind of what I'm doing right here. I'm just reacting. And uh, if you're reacting towards the center of the plate, the, the closer the ball is to the center of the plate, the better off you are. There's not enough time between when the pitcher releases the ball and the ball crosses the plate for you to evaluate uh, where the ball is coming in and um, and kind of see where the PCI is going as well like your your the, your thumb on the analog is going to take the same amount of time whether or not whether or not the PCI is there and your brain is going to also have to calculate is the PCI in the spot that I want it to be and if it's not there's nothing you can do about it which is which is 100% the point I'm trying to make there's nothing you can do about you know, if you mess up using the PCI. Once the ball is, is crossing the plate, you've already made your decision decision with the PCI, whether or not you can see it, you know. 
so that's just how I feel about it. I feel like I can't if I if I can see it, then I'm gonna try to do too much with it, and my brain's gonna confuse itself. And every time I've tried using the PCI, that's just kind of what happens. So timing and discipline, I think, are the two big things that no PCI has the advantage over PCI. Um, although plate vision is the one thing that you're gonna sacrifice uh, a small bit. But in the end, I think, for me, this is this has really worked. Uh, something like that may be an issue that you're you're gonna start doing that you weren't doing before. But overall, um, this is this is really just how I've always played. Um, and the times that I've tried to put the PCI in, it just distracted me too much. So that's what I wanted to say. And uh, if you guys are trying to look for maybe some advantages or you know little small things that you can add into your game. That's one thing that I'd recommend for sure. So, hope that helps, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to see more like it, hit like and subscribe. If you want to see something new or have a specific part of the game you want help with, be sure to leave a comment and we'll all try to help out. Peace.